medalist from Isabel Marcon. Second player, please welcome Tintin Ho. And Tintin also joined by a mascot from Warren Spring Table Tennis Club, Maddie Whitley. Officials, players, and to our mascots, it's the second women's singles semi final. Having completed their pre-match practice, the umpires calling for the start of this semi-final. Maria Sapsinos to serve, Tintin Ho to receive the serve. Delighted to be joined in the commentary box by Joe Drinkle. Joe's won this title three times, I believe, Joe, so you know what it's all about out there, the pressure, etc. How do you see this one going? Uh, yeah, this, um, this will hopefully be another a good match. Uh, these two girls know each other extremely well. I mean, they're very good friends off the court as well, but they also played each other um, last night in the under-21 women's final. Um, I think Maria won 13-11 in the seventh. So it's a very tight game, and I think we're likely to see another close one here. And, of course, these two playing together in the women's doubles and have made it through to the final. We'll see them in action in that final later on this afternoon. Good play there by both players. Simpson Hall staying close to the table. Driving Sapsinos away, but Sapsinos doing well, retrieving the ball 
with great consistency. And it was the slower top spin from Tintin that won the point. Four, one. A very spinny backhand top spin there from Sapsinos. <coughs> Good start, leading 4 1. Two, four. Two, Very interesting tactically how Tintin Ho uses the racket. She's a penhold grip player. There aren't that many penhold grip <coughs> players now on the on the world scene. But she actually uses both sides of the racket. That's an innovation that's happened recently with the penhold grip. Five, Instead of using three. 20 years ago, the penhold has only used one side of the racket. They now use both sides, and you'll see Tintin demonstrate that technique. And to make life a little bit more awkward for the opponent, she has two different types of rubber. Good. The red side Three. has got Five. short pimple, very good for hitting through spin. Ball comes through very flat. And then the black rubber that she uses on the reverse side of the racket Four. is Three. reverse rubber, good for spinning. And it's exactly what she did then. Must be quite awkward playing against that, Joe. Extremely, yeah. I think um, it's an, a very effective style of play. Um, Tintin's also extremely fast. She's really quick and stays close to the table, so you don't have a lot of time to see what's coming at you either. So, um, yeah, it's very effective. Great counter top spin there by Sapsinos. Took the ball early, stayed close to the table, came across the inside of the ball. There we see it on the replay. Side spin taking the ball out wide to the backhand of Tintin Ho. Saving five. Saving six. Good variation from Tintin there. Just threw the <coughs> ball up. Not as much spin on the ball. Maria Sapsinos just angling her racket a little bit too much over the ball. Six. Eight. Good footwork there from Sapsino. Step round the backhand, played a good forehand on the diagonal, deep into the backhand of Tintin. Excellent reverse backhands there using the black side of the racket. Comes through with more spin off the reverse side, comes through a lot flatter off the short pimple side. There you see the black side, the reverse, you'll use that for the service, then turn the racket around, and then the drive there with the pimple side. Nine, ten. And so Sapsinos now with three game points. It is the best of seven games. First player to win four games through to the final. Tintin Ho back down there into the net. And Sapsinos wins the first game 11 7 and leads by one game to nil. Now back at the table for the start of the second game. 
both have been back to their respective corners to chat to their coaches, take advice on board. In fact, we've got two dads in the corner. Charles Ho and Dimitris Sapsinos. So both players under the watchful eye of their fathers. get over the ball sufficiently tint in there <coughs> One, two. use of that reverse rubber on the backhand side brushing up the back of the ball heavy top spin two, yeah I think I think Perhaps Tintin's <coughs> making a few too many unforced errors um, so far in this match. I think more so than she'd be happy with, for sure. Um, it's important that, especially in, with her style, that she has to get that first ball on the table. And she is aggressive, so it is slightly higher risk, but Three, two. she's used to that. That's that's how she plays. So I think she'll be looking to try and get that first ball on a bit, a bit more often. certainly important at this level to get in if you can with the first strong top spin play positive you can't afford to play safe Three, as you say two. Joe you've got to be aggressive controlled aggression is the order of the day for Tintin Ho two, four. especially against someone like Maria I mean Maria is extremely good from away from the table I think she's she's very comfortable back there so to get through that you really have to be positive and strong from the beginning. Um, I think Maria, she's she's improved her game in the last couple of years. She's um, more aggressive up close to the table now, as well as being comfortable, like that shot there. A lot more aggressive when she gets the chance, when she's close to the table, but when she is away, she's still extremely comfortable. So it's quite a tough style to play. Five, three. Sapsinos going for the long fast serve down the line. It would have been effective if it would have come off. Unfortunately for her, into the net. And it's now Tintin Hole with her two serves to come. Five, four. Just over hitting the backhand topspin. to change the angle of the racket to fade the ball out wide to Tintin Ho's backhand. Didn't quite get the contact that she would have liked. Four, seven. Second serve coming up in this sequence of two. Tintin with a three-point lead. Seven, five. Unlucky, that was that was quite clever of Tintin there, trying to bring Maria in, because uh, she knows how comfortable she is away from the table, so she, she was trying to bring her in to then be able to catch her with a faster smash again. She just missed that smasher at the end there, but clearly thinking tactically. That's very good footwork from Sapsino. She read the serve well. She ran round very quickly. We'll see on the replay here. And there she is. Runs round. Forehand topspin. Clenched fist. Punches the air. She's delighted with that point. Rally, and that just shows you the determination of Sapsinos. She forgot her bat, she left it on the floor and even tried to hit it back with her hand, which of course wouldn't have counted. But it just highlights how determined this, this uh, player is. What a great rally! 
Yeah, brilliant rally, showing both players that, you know, what they do best. Nine. That was a very clever tactical play by Tintin Ho there. The returner served the long push out wide to the forehand. Of course, she's played a few into the backhand. Sapsinos has run around, played good forehands from the backhand side, so clever to get out wide to her forehand. And now it's Tintin Ho with four game points. Asking Tintin Ho wins the second game, 11 points to six, and it is one game apiece. Players now back at the table for the third game. It's one game apiece. First player to win four games through to the final. Kelly Sibley awaits the winner of this second semi final. A little bit of a delicate touch rally there. Tintin Ho coming out on top. I think it's fairly even at the moment. Joe, I don't know how you see this one. Yeah, it's um, as, I, as I expected, really. It's it's really a tough one to call because both players they know each other so well, um, and they both do the good things at you know different Two, times. One. So we're one apiece at the moment. Wait and see. Two, oh. Just caught the top of the net. The return from Sam Sinos. Apologises for her good fortune. So it's now two points each, and indeed one game each. Good angles there from Tintin Ho. Spraying the ball around the table. Played a few on the diagonal, we'll see on the, on the replay. Keeps it into the backhand, then down the line. There it is. Well done, Tintin there. Held her ground. Excellent block down the line. 4-2. Tintin, 17 years of age. Maria, 18 years of age. So two teenagers. in there playing excellent angles uh, wide to the forehand then into the backhand spraying the ball around the table with great effect she was disappointed there but she was going for the long fast serve and you have to keep it low over the net and you have to get it deep just didn't quite get it right Five. Perfect tactics, service, and then in with a strong topspin behind the serve. Five. Again, it was 
the angles this time. It was Sapsinos out wide to Tintin's forehand, then wide to the backhand. Halfway stage of this third game, five points apiece. there Done. for Tintin Ho at the top of the net fortunately for her it creeped over you see that on the replay there it goes no chance there for Maria three consecutive points now for Tintin Ho Punch in the air with delight. Tintin Horn, so she should. She did very well here. Steps round, strong forehand. Deep into the backhand of Sapsinos. Two serves now for Tintin Horn. And now, serving for this third game. Across to the forehand side, played a strong backhand top spin out wide to Tintin's forehand. So one game point save, four remain. 10 6, Tintin leads. Time. There it is. Tintin game takes home. the third game, 11 points to six, and she now leads by two games to one. Tintin to serve at the start of the fourth game. Oh, that's wonderful right. play from Tintin, right. using the reverse side of the racket there. Spraying the ball around the table. The body language looks good, Joe, from Tintin. She seems to be... Yeah, I, I think she's really upped her game from... Um, halfway through the last set, she's. I think she played some good shots early on in that s the last set, and uh, I think it possibly gave her a bit of confidence. And she's been really using the table well, taking the ball nice and early, which she has well, to with her style um, to be as effective as she can. Um, she must take that ball early, and I think she's really, like you say, got the energy f and going for it now. We we'll see how Maria responds. Well, uh Three. And that's a service error. She missed a relatively simple forehand on the second point. So at the moment, the momentum with Tintin Ho. Oh, oh. I think Tintin's uh, definitely wanting to get revenge from last night um, in this match. She, uh, she was 11 10 up on Maria yesterday, so I think she's um, definitely wanting the revenge here. Hi, love. 
Excellent start by Tin Tin Ho, takes the first five points. Second service coming up in this sequence. Good shot there by Sapsinos. Good use of the feet, step round, played a good forehand. Came across the inside of the ball there to give it a little bit of side spin as well. Certainly a very, very determined young player, Maria Sapsinos. Great fighter. Before, Joe, she's very clever at just playing that soft one, almost a drop shot to bring Sapsinos close to the table and then go hard. So good tactical play by Tintin Ho. A little bit of good fortune there for Tintin Ho. The, the block just catching the top of the net again, it trickled over. Sapsinos had no chance to make that one. Shaking her head. That's a great return of service from Sapsinos. It drifted slightly long. Sapsinos around to play the forehand topspin. So. Good Three, top spin from seven. Sapsinos there. Yeah, that was a very clever shot there. Um, Maria put a lot of spin on that forehand there, um, which for Tintin to smash is very difficult, so that was a very tactically clever shot. Three, clever eight. tactics there. She'd hit that one hard the last few points there. She played soft, relatively soft with the forehand. Varying the pace, varying the spin. Tintin is playing extremely well. Remember this semi-final, the best of seven games. Eight, Tintin four. now the favourite for this fourth game, but she's still got a bit of work to do. 8-4 in the lead. Five. Service error from Tintin. She'll be disappointed with that, but she'll have put that behind her now, totally focused on this next point. Oh, another Five. brilliant spinning forehand touch from there from Maria. Um, it's extremely difficult for Tintin to smash them with her pimples. Um, and I think obviously Maria knows that, so... Uh, yeah, very, very clever. So, timeout call by Mr Ho, Charles Ho, the coach of Tintin Ho. He senses the momentum has just changed. He senses that Maria Sapsinos has just won the last couple of points, so... It's a good tactical call to try and break the momentum that now favours Maria. So each player has the opportunity to call one timeout during the match. So Tintin now has used her timeout at a, a very appropriate time, I feel, because this game is crucial. If Tintin goes 3-1 up, she's in a very strong position. So let's see how the players react to the one minute break. Oh, Six, nine. Maria there just trying to wind up to get that backhand top spin in. She changed her mind and often when you change your mind in this sport, you make an error. Nine, Again, it's those heavy spins. She's so good at that when she's away from the table. She, she doesn't just retrieve the ball and put it back on the table. She's using her wrist, imparting a lot of topspin. Yep. Yep. 
three. Eight, three. Four, eight. Nine, four. Tintin, that was that was a tough game, and was it a bit of payback from the under 21s last night? Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. But uh, I just really wanted to get the women's title. That's like my dream. So, yeah, it was it was a really tough game. We always play each other, so we know our games inside out. And yesterday's was really tough, and today's was also tough. So, yeah. Well, it's going to be even tougher <laughs> later on when you've got yeah. Kelly Sibling. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's a really good player. Um, and I've never beaten her, but I think hopefully I can beat her this time. <laughs> Look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.